There's no shortage of possibilities, but there's always a best path. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. What wondrous discoveries await below? Do you like treasure trash a lot? A sturdy construction. Yeah. Let's get rid of this thing. The blocks. Peacemaker protocol. Probably time trick. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. I keep growing these things. We go in infinite. Infinite. That's gonna do. Let's go, because I'm gonna have all these like ten power things. They're gonna have to like block everything. Let's go. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mirror Victor for our last meme tier deck today. This is going to be a deck that's going to be creating a whole lot of cards thanks to Bandle City and all of these different ways to create cards. And that's going to level up our Victor, of course. But that's also going to be great with our Mirror Mage. It's going to be kind of our second champion in our deck. Our two champions really are going to be like the Victors and the Mirror Mage. Um, we're also going to have Glorious Evolution in here, two copies of that, because that's going to give um, all of our cards minus one cost, and they're all created cards, and that's going to be awesome with Mirror Mage. Because Mirror Mage, of course, whenever you play a created fo follower, summon an exact copy of it. So, you know, like if all of our cards are created, then whenever we play like an Otterpus, we'll make two Otterpus instead. And then, um, be after Glorious Evolution. And then, of course... Um, Whenever we play a created spell, cast it again. So if we play like a prank, which is a created spell, we would cast it again. So we would cast two pranks <laughs> every time we cast a prank. Um, yeah, so this could get pretty crazy pretty fast. Um, so that's going to kind of be like our, our late game engine that's going to be insane. Mirror Mage, Glorious Evolution. We're also going to have victors in here as well. Our other two champions, we got one Heimer in here, because Heimer can also go really crazy with Glorious Evolution. And then two Caitlyn's. And we're, we're just not a Caitlyn deck, but it's just a 3-3 a three, three quick attack, right? It's just a good body that um, attacks really well. It's also going to um, be something that your opponent is going to be really focused on. And like while they're focused on the Caitlyn, hopefully that, that just buys us time to do other stuff. So, you know, like the, the Caitlyn's just going to be a distraction to help buy us time. And, you know, be a good body, a 3-3 three, three quick attack for 3 nothing wrong with that um, but we got lots of cards that draw cards lots of ways to create stuff hopefully we can have a super awesome late game one to have a couple copies of aftershock because of the different bandle city decks that are playing the bandle tree and if they play the bandle tree we wouldn't be able to deal with the bandle tree and they would win with that before we win because we're going super super late games so we need a couple answers to the bandle tree so we got a couple aftershocks in here so let's give it a try Let's go and play some Mirror Victor. And we're going to go play our five games. Here we go. Okay, we got another late game deck, which is probably good. Because we, we want to play late games. So we don't want to be... Uh, we don't, we don't want to be killed immediately. And Mini Morph is going to be good against like Big Trundle, Big Trindamir. Especially Trindamir. If they go... You know, like, feel the rush. We're definitely going to need those mini morphs. So, yeah, the end of the patch notes today, it does say that they have improved text across cards, and it says that every single patch, they have improved text across cards. Um, and so Martin asked, why doesn't Riot make a list of the cards they changed to improve text consistency? And I don't, I don't know, because you would think, um, I guess minus one power and vulnerable for this thing you would think with um maybe i should have gave it to the other card actually the tavern keeper and have my caitlin 
challenge Tavern Keeper. Anyway, you'd think that if they changed text Nothing to a card that they would let us know. And so I kind of feel like they don't actually change the text that much, but every single patch notes does have that at the bottom. But I don't think they actually change... Pot on the trail. I don't think they change text like every single patch note, so... I think that's written more than what cards they change. I could be wrong about that. What we get? Scout. Scout's not bad. Purple Berry Shake's also not bad. This is a like Trinket Trade just makes a lot of creative cards for Victor. Drain five. We shall make it a one six. Plus two cost to the harsh winds. You can tell I'm not challenging the Avros and Sentry because I don't want them to draw the card. And so the the longer we can wait without them drawing the card, oh, this is still just going to stay a one a six one. Safeguard our homes. It doesn't. Hmm. Yes. Doesn't go back. Purple Berry Shake would have been really nice right there. Get this Victor up above the Blighted Ravine. But now Victors will be leveled up in the future. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Awesome. Got rid of Trindamir instead of the Harsh Winds. I was thinking like they could get rid of Field of Rush as well. Wanted to check doing that. Not by a long shot. Oh no! Fine. Howling Abyss, super good. Howling Abyss, super good. All right, let's go with the Glorious Evolution and get this started. So now everything for the rest of the game is going to cost one less mana. I assume that's like all of our cards everywhere would be my assumption. And so that should be like all the cards that we create should also be the same thing, I would think. Go with another glorious evolution. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. Now oh, they found Field of Rush. I do have many more for a reason. Yeah, it is everywhere, right? It just says your cards. It doesn't say your cards everywhere, but it says your cards. They put a karma in play? Oh, from from their hand because of this. Well, that's pretty nice. That's about to be leveled up too. There's no shortage of possibilities, but there's always a best path. Let us take a peek at life beneath the wave. 
What wondrous discoveries await below? Do you like treasure trash a lot? A sturdy construction. Let's get rid of this thing, the blocks. Peacemaker protocol. Time winder or time trick? Probably time trick. Let's take a peek at life beneath the wave. Can I keep growing these things. We go in infinite. Infinite. <laughs> That's gonna do. Let's go, because I'm gonna have all these like ten power things. They're gonna have to like block everything. Let's go. I think they were thinking they were pretty good whenever I had like my three three Caitlyn, and then I play a, a two four Heimerdinger with my first five mana of the round out of nine, and they play Feel the Rush. I think they were thinking they were pretty good, and then suddenly they're dead. I'm gonna keep this whole hand. I could see Mulligating Heimerdinger, but you know, it's still Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger pretty good. Yeah, good thing we didn't double evolution, but having all of those conchologists was pretty awesome. Alright, so we're gonna you know have Otterpus do its stuff. We'll have Pokey Stick for a Zoe. These cards are really good. I think we'll say a Loop Travelers can't block, or just the Mirror Mage is a 4-5. Um, we'll go Loop Travelers can't block. Not let them block my Caitlyn too well. I need to find a Loop Travelers, make them discard Mirror Mage. Buried in Ice. Well, that's just going to get discarded, of course, by the Aloof Travelers, but, uh, yeah, that's just going to get discarded. Let's get, let's go the Trickster. But, like, basically don't want to have that Protect Timer. Oh no, my Glorious Evolution! That's going to get discarded now. Wow. Okay, I guess I should have Caitlyn. I expected them to play, like, something to block here. Yeah, I guess I should have just played Caitlyn. See, maybe they have, like, a good blocker and I'd want the elusive attacker. Don't do it, don't do it. No. They did it. From all the regions we are one. Alright, we got them down to seven. Shark trainer. Got to train those sharks. I guess. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. And now they play some something super scary, we can mini morph it. Even though I'm probably gonna want to keep this mini morph for that mirror mage. No, no, don't make my mini morph cross two more. Good, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't care what anything whatsoever about this tenor of terror. Mm. Nice. Oh no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Ha ha. They, they didn't do it. Mirror Mage. It's smaller than the diagram. Well, what have 
we here? Get him. While I could cast stress defense to save that, I'd rather just play these, this other stuff. So I was thinking I was going to go Shark Chariot, but actually, you know what? Let's go Aloof Travelers. Yeah, okay. I was going to go Aloof Travelers and have them discard like one of those expensive invoke cards that they just drew. Or that they made. They made two of them. But we are 2 and O. Oh. Scion, Viego, Callista. What's this Callista doing in here? Callista. Don't want stress defense to protect Victor. I'll send it back. There we go. Those are some good cards. So yeah, they're making the same thing, cost one less. So Moonsilver allows me to play Victor next round, but I don't have the one extra mana to play the Hexcore Foundry. I'll still do that though. I don't know, we just play the, Ka the Caitlyn. Yeah, let's just go Caitlyn. Well, what have we, here? we can go Victor, make Hexcore cost one less, play Hexcore. Next round, while still curving out with this. I'm guessing that they've been making Scion cost less. That's probably the thing that makes the most sense. There's good in people, Victor. Don't forget that. Turning yourself in. Get him, Victor. Elusive Victor. Okay, it's so not playing Sion this round. Challenger not the best. The answer's there. We'll find it. What wondrous discoveries await below. Thermal's pretty good. The whole world will know my anguish. Yes, of course. No materials, no improvements. Start the story. Three mana deal three to a unit? Really not that bad. Okay, I was gonna take that. I was gonna. I was looking at my hand. I was gonna take that. Use the removal. I was gonna kill Diego. Kill the four two. One step closer. No, I never got to do cool like remitter eight drop into one of the awesome tens. I probably did it like 12, 15 times, and I never hit either of the two cart the two great ones. The um. Otacon or Sithria. I never hit them. Minimorph doesn't sound bad against Karma Senna. 
Those champions seem like they're going to go crazy. I kind of like just keeping a mini morph. Honestly, honestly, I should have done. I kind of did that really fast. Kind of snapped that off. I should do. I should probably do the glimpse beyond plus two mana. Who cares if this thing is a two one that can't block? Because it's just going to trade with an otter puss anyway, or a puppy stick. I should have done that glimpse beyond the first time also. This just trades anyway. Wow, so they're willing to spend the four mana on that. That's a pretty good win for me. I'm planning on playing Victor this round, but I'm still not really planning on attacking Victor. Seeing they spend other mana first. playing Heimerdinger here, and maybe I should have, but it's really nice to be able to play more created cards. So Victor's at five right now, Equinox would be six. I know there's nothing to Equinox, but it's just it, it would be the sixth. Uh, I don't love these other cards. I don't know, maybe the... Maybe this Ranger actually buffs up the Victor. Scout attack. Plus up the health. Okay. Got them to play a concussive palm. Vandal City can really level up Victor super fast. As we've seen here. Spell shield. So they let, like, I don't know why they don't respond to, like, that last one, because they, like, that could have just hit Spell Shield, and then they would have been in trouble. But they just let that resolve, and let that all happen. that now but well, we, we won't immediately right now I'm just saying that now we have that opportunity even at war you remain so calm would panicking help brother it's the glorious evolution let's go for the wicked for the dead I bring rest.
care about that noble fine. Darkness and light. I see an opening. The thing about this is like they're already all the way wide. And that's not the best play, but I think we're okay. Time to flip the board. The time of machines is now. You could say I got a life switch. <laughs> Why? So many Senna's. Thankfully this darkness costs five. It's not gonna be easy to get rid of. Oh no! I don't like that one bit. Since they're not gonna be able to create a new one if they want to attack. Gonna start making draglings. I do want to clear uh, clear spaces for Heimer. Yeah, that's fine. Both these fast I like both these fast spells, but they do get countered by Nobify, but I guess Nobify now counters Aftershock as well. So we'll just take Maybe a one mana thing to get countered by Nobify. Alright, they got the darkness out of their hands. I didn't want them to discard darkness, honestly. I'll just keep a loop traveler, sorry. We're gonna let's get Heimer in play. Maybe I do a loop travelers. Sure. Drop something. I dropped everything. Nopify? Two mana Nopify. So everything in hand costs two or less mana. That's interesting. Peace begins. Oh, is it go hard? Hmm. Their slow spells are fast. I do have they get a lot of cards with karma, but I can deal with a lot of cards. It's a bunch of free darkness I can't deal with. Another nope of fine. Glorious Evolution is just insane, right? Like, you, you get to Glorious Evolution. So, you know, that's another cheap spell. That was Go Hard. Go Hard's. Um, two and three. They really shouldn't probably be playing that slow spell like that. It gives me the opportunity to kill the Senna. Like they should have, they should attack with Senna and create a darkness. Like that's what they should do. Darkness and light. Now I get priority again. Now this game's over. I mean, they do have pack your bags. That they could top deck. Should have played the turret first.
kill that. Okay, I think these things are pretty big. I think they're pretty big. That'll do. There we go. Just everything costs one less mana with how cheap these Bandle cards are. You get to just play all sorts of stuff. Glorious Evolution at Bandle City. Honestly looking pretty strong. All right, so as y'all know, if we are 4-0 with a meme tier deck, that means we are going to be taking it over to ranked to try to finish out the 5-0. So here we go. We're going to be taking Mirror Victor on over to ranked. Haven't really showed off Mirror Mage, but we have definitely showed off Glorious Evolution and how Glorious Evolution with Victor and Heimerdinger does some crazy stuff. Okay, so we got Teemo Ezreal. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm picking up what y'all are putting down. I, I understand now. Gotcha. Alright, so for Teemo Ezreal, let's get rid of Mini Morph. This for Teemo, this for Ezreal. Caitlyn does its thing. And Otterpus can do its thing. Just slow the opponent down. All right, so minus two power to the the Puff Cap Peddler isn't that important because I'm going to be trying to kill Puff Cap Peddler immediately. That's a card that you've got to kill immediately. So we'll make this iterative improvement cost two more mana. No Teemo. Minus one power and vulnerable. Now we're talking about the vulnerable. Plus two cost for that. Doesn't seem like they're gonna have an Ezreal. Like basically, yeah, I'll just do that. Mage, miss? Not by a long shot. Mirror mage. Scoping the area. All right, so four mana pokey stick. I'm pretty fine with. I mean, obviously I'm not fine with. But I mean, as far as things go, pokey stick isn't going to be very important. I don't believe. Oh man, this card is so good. Every time it's summoned or it attacks. Create one of those poison darts. Advanced intel to go along with Caitlyn. What wondrous discoveries ah, await below. So playing the conchologist so that the conchologist gets to block the Yordle. Get all that? Persistence is key. Now neither of these can block Caitlyn profitably. Karina. More flash bombs. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. Okay. Man, this Yordle's not bad either. 
<laughs> Lecturing Yordle reminds me of one of my old teachers. Cool dude. Another one of those. Where was I? Turning yourself in. It probably discards the iterative improvement over discarding the Karina Mastermind. Would be my guess. They don't have like a great flash bomb target out there. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Yep. Have a mushroom. Have three. So I do this, I don't get any puff caps instead of getting six puff caps. Wow. Never mind. What a waste. I thought that spell would fizzle. I guess it doesn't fizzle because it still plants the three puff caps, so it still has like a second target with the planting the, the other three puff caps. So that was just a complete waste. Man, now I could have... I could have ten mana right now and play this glorious evolution. Oh man, that decision may cost us this game. That certainly could. And getting rid of this Karina, of course. Well, that helps. I suppose. I mean, that thing had vulnerable anyway, but now they just can't play more spells. Time for a true display of skill. Tough places bring tough people. Hmm. Man, I, I would have rather just played the Glorious Evolution this round. last round would have been awesome. We're have this Mystic Shot. Do I just play Mirror Mage? Where am I? Let's play this Mirror Mage. I, mean, I really wish I didn't just waste four mana for nothing. Okay, so I have one Flash Bomb still in there that they're probably going to be drawing in these two. That could take out the Sting Officer. It's going to be a close game. If that happens, I could open attack. Oh gosh. Okay, never mind. Maybe it's not going to be a close game at all. They just have every single Mystic Shot in their deck. Pretty greedy, though. They're not leveling up Ezreal. So, like, that dealt 6 damage. They could have, like, also killed Aloof Travelers and dealt three damage and leveled up Ezreal so then all these spells do more damage. Like, that's, that's a pretty greedy decision by them. I want Spell Shield and Life Steal. I have something very special planned. Alright. Cool. Okay, so even though I'm casting it twice, it only counts as one for level, so we don't get to actually level up Victor. Life steal? No. Which I should have played this MK1 first anyway, because then it would have been one of the top five cards. Blockers. I basically have to play Aloof Travelers. You dropped something. I dropped everything. That's a good card to have. Fine. 
That's a good card to have. You're between me and glory. Yeah, all right, so they go down to one. And as long as we don't die, which hopefully we don't, we know one of our top two cards is the Victor Champion spell that should that doesn't have any puff caps. No puff caps there, no puff caps there. And now get excited. Then again, they could have just drawn a removal spell. So that's pretty nice. We get a... Oh, we don't get to create the two... Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, we get to create two Death Rays. So our top two cards could both be Death Rays. Alright, so now I think we have to go for it. And just hope this last card isn't a burn spell that kills us. Because this does one to anything. Here's open. Because I can't... I could mini morph this, but I... You know, but then I don't have the mana for the get excited, so that's not worth it, so... This is just the thing to do. Come on... We both draw two. Okay, let's draw our Death Ray. Death Ray! There we go! That'll do! Thank you, Death Rays! How about that? 5 and 0. Oh. GG's! Final boss defeated 5 0 oh with our meme tier deck. And, uh, yeah, even I even tried to mess that up with the pokey stick but we uh, still went came through and we didn't have very many of these low cost cards nearly as many that last game we had a lot more of our top end but this deck felt really good especially against the slower decks we played against a whole lot of slow decks and glorious evolution as we saw there was completely insane it was so good your cards have minus one cost is so important with a deck like this whenever you're you're creating so many different cards and you have all these cheap cards and then, of course, the Augment as well, because then, then it just buffs up everything. Heimerdinger was awesome. Really glad we had the one of Heimerdinger in there. It was really cool. But even, K like, Caitlyn did good. I wouldn't necessarily just say take out Caitlyn's and put in Heimerdinger's, because you don't want to have too high of a curve. The Caitlyn's really did put a lot of pressure on the opponent. We gave them flash bomb traps that were nice. Like, I liked the Caitlyn's. I think the Heimerdinger was a nice one of at the top end. I don't think you need to have a ton of Heimerdinger's. Um, if you want to have two Victor, two Heimer, you could do that. Like, honestly, I know, like, Victor is all cool and everything. I know we all love Victor, but, like, you could do two and two if you want. But I think you keep those Caitlyn's in there. I think that they really do a good job to slow the opponent down and, and have them worried about that. And, you know, you have all these early stuff. You get them worried, and you try to use a lot of their resources and use a lot of their removal. And that really sets up your Victor and your Heimerdinger then instead. Instead of, like, really relying on Victor and Heimer and your opponent just, like, saving all their stuff for Victor and Heimer. But there we go. We di I didn't get to show off Mirror Mage too much, but Mirror Mage is completely insane with Glorious Evolution. You can do some crazy, crazy cool stuff. I didn't get to show it off, but you really can do some crazy cool stuff with that. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so that's Mirror Victor. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. If you want to try out this Victor Heimerdinger deck yourself, definitely do that and leave those comments and let me know how it goes for you and everything like that but that's going to be it for this video so as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next one